So in a previous video, uh, we derived the rotation matrix to rotate a grid of points 10 degrees counterclockwise. And at the end of that video, I said something like in like a future video, we're going to actually be rotating an image um, using the rotation matrix. Um, and I just want to emphasize before we get started that rotating images is really easy. You just get like your device, your two fingers, and you just rotate. Um, and even if you wanted to like code um, out your rotation of an image using a rotation matrix, well, it's really easy. All you have to do is just import a library, let's say OpenCV, and using that library, you could just rotate an image in just four to five lines of code. But in today's video, we're gonna go into the nitty gritty details on how to rotate images using rotation matrices, matrices in Python. So to get started, let's connect to our runtime. Um, and let's get an image that we would like to um, import. So I have like a lot of images. Currently, most of them are like Minecraft. We have some Among Us there, you know, um, but this image should work, I think. Let's just drag and drop this in and click OK. So this is like a picture of me and my dad after we ate pizza or something. I actually kind of forgot. Okay, <clears throat> so the first step uh, into rotating the image is to actually read in the image. And we're actually going to do this by importing OpenCV. Now, like how I said earlier, uh, OpenCV could actually be used to rotate images, but we're actually not gonna be using that, but just using OpenCV just to read in our image. So let's go OpenCV2, import CV2. And the reason why we're importing CV2 is because that's OpenCV. Shift enter. Okay, so now that we want to read in our image, and to do this, all we have to do is just cv2.imread parentheses and like the name of our file, so me underscore dad.jpg, shift enter, and you notice that um, uh, we have an array of numbers, and these numbers are actually the red, green, and blue intensities for each pixel of our image. Um, and if we assign this like a variable, let's call it like, I don't know, I am maybe for image, and let's take a look at our shape of our image, so I am.shape. Shift enter, you notice that we have 246 rows, 200 columns, and three channels. And the three channels are basically like the red, green, and blue um, intensities. Well, not intensities, but like the red, green, and blue channels. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that you guys are very curious to see how my dad looks like. Um, so we're actually going to be plotting this out uh, before we actually do our rotations. So we're going to actually be using uh, subplots. And the reason we're using subplots instead of just regular plots is because, uh, well, subplots allow you to put like multiple plots right next to each other. And we want to see our image before and after rotation right next to each other. So let's do that. So from plotly dot subplots import make subplots like so. Um, and also we want to import plotly dot graph object since we're going to be graphing our image and we can just make it uh, abbreviated as let's just say like geo for go. Um, and then uh, I don't really like like the plotly default theme uh, for plots. I think it's very bright compared to like the dark um, background of uh, Google Code Laboratory. So we're going to import plotly.iosPO and change the default template of template of our plotly.io to, um, well, uh, a darker template. So po.templates.default is going to be equal to plotly underscore dark. Shift enter. So now let's uh, plot out our um, image. So to do this, create our figure, uh, make subplots and let's say that we only have one row and one column because we only have um one image to plot at the moment um and then um after that um well plots are referred to as traces on plotly so we want to add a trace so add trait no fig um dot add trace parentheses and we're going to be graphing an object so go dot image since we're graphing an image and then parentheses and then our image data is in im and this will go into row one and column one because that's like the only place that they go to. Shift enter. And voila. So um, you notice that my day looks perfectly normal. Nothing has changed whatsoever. But I look a little bit bluish. Um, and the reason for this is because CV2 or OpenCV reads in the image as a blue, green, red. But Plotly expects the image to be in the order of red, green, blue. And this is like a really easy fix. All we have to do is just convert the color. So to do this, reassign to the I am variable, uh, cv2.cvt colors for converting the color. And then uh, basically we just need to give it our uh, image data. So I am comma and then cv2.color in all caps and then the color conversion that we want, which is going to be bgr2rgb. Shift enter. And voila. So now I look normal, but my dad um, doesn't. But there's not much that we could do about that. Okay, so 
Now, we want to rotate this image, but notice that when we rotate a rectangular image, like so, you notice that we're gonna need a larger canvas um, to be able to store our image. So therefore, we need to find the dimensions of our rotated image canvas. And to do this, we keep track of the of three corner points of our image. Let's just say upper left, upper right, and bottom right, X and Y coordinates relative to the center of the image. Um, and then we rotate those by the amount of degrees of rotation that we want our image to be rotated by. Um, and that will just give us, and the greatest deviation from the center of the image will be our uh, dimensions of our, um, of our rotated image canvas over two. So we just have to multiply that by two. Okay, so um, to do this, we actually need to find the X and Y coordinates of each corner point relative to the center of the image. Um, but notice that it will just be like the half width and half height multiple times. So why not pre-calculate that? So first let's assign to our uh, shape of our image. So H comma W comma C. Uh, H is the height, W is the width, and C is the number of channels. And we can find out the half height and half width by just dividing these by two. Okay, H two, height divided by two, and W and our width divided by two. And you might notice, hey, there's like two slashes. Aren't you just trying to do like division? Well, we're actually trying to do an integer division because eventually these will refer to rows and columns. So we want to completely forego the decimal um, part. And yeah, so shift enter. So now we want to create an array of X and Y coordinates of three corner points. Um, so upper left, upper right, and bottom right. We want to find the X and Y coordinates and create an array with those. But before we do that, we actually need to define a rotation matrix that we're actually going to be rotating our image and rotated image canvas spot. So to do this, so to do this, let's import numpy as mp, and numpy stands for numerical python. Shift enter. Okay, then up here we can define a rotation matrix, um, it will which will take in a certain amount of degrees. <clears throat> So um, in a previous well in a previous video, uh, the same video that we rotate we define we derive the rotation matrix to rotate um, a grid of points ten degrees counterclockwise. Well, um, well we derived the rotation matrix that we're going to be using in this video. So if you're interested on how we got this rotation matrix, um, make sure to check out the previous video on that. So um, well. Numpy doesn't like um, degrees and actually only takes in radians. So that means that we need to convert our degrees to radians. So we can store this into a variable, let's say theta. So theta is going to be equal to the amount of degrees divided by 180 times pi. And the reason that why that is, is because there are 180 degrees in pi radians. Okay, and next up, um, well, in our rotation matrix that we're going to return, well, there's going to be a lot of um, cosine and sine of theta. So why not just pre-calculate them? So C comma S is equal to mp dot cosine theta. Oh, that's not how you spell theta. And comma mp dot sine theta. Okay, and now let's return our rotation matrix, which will be an array. And our first, and it's going to be a list. And our first row in our list is going to be another list, which will be C comma negative sine. And our second row in our list is going to be another list, which will be sine comma cosine. Shift enter. Now let's give this a try. So rot underscore mat, let's say 30 degrees, maybe. Shift enter. Oh. That's not what we wanted. Shift enter. And there we go. So now we have negative square, not negative square root of 3 over 2, but square root of 3 over 2, negative 1 half, 1 half, and square root of 3 over 2. Looks correct. Okay, so now that we don't need this cell anymore. So now uh, let's create an array of the x and y coordinates of our three corner points of our image. So numpy dot array. It's going to be a list. And our first row in our list is going to be the x coordinates of our three corner points. So our upper left um, is going to have an x coordinate of negative half width. And our upper right and bottom right are both going to have an x coordinate of half width. And next, okay, um, and next up, and now our y coordinates for our three corner points. Our upper left and upper right both have a y coordinate of half height. And our bottom right um, y coordinate is going to be negative half height okay shift enter and that looks correct very cool okay so um now we want to um i guess matrix multiply our rotation matrix which takes which is going to be like the same amount of degrees of rotation that we want our image to be rotated by so uh, let's just say 10 degrees counterclockwise maybe um and let's just rot underscore mat takes in the amount of degrees and matrix multiply which is the at sign and shift enter Okay, so um, now remember that we're trying to find 
uh, the greatest deviation from the center the, of the image. So that means that uh, we, we don't really care if it's positive or negative. So let's just take the absolute value, shift enter. And um, now uh, I guess that, um, well, we want to find the maximum deviation, like the greatest deviation from the center of the image. So we could get the maximum of the X and Y coordinates of these three corner points. So mp.max, shift enter. And you notice that we're only returning with one number. Um, so let's try axis is equal to zero. Um, and now notice that we are returned with three numbers. And these are actually like the greatest um, greatest number in each column. Now let's try axis is equal to one. And there we go. So this is like the greatest um, number in the um, of the x coordinates of our um, three corner points and the greatest number in our y coordinates of our three corner points um but like how i said earlier eventually these will refer to rows and columns so um we and there's no such thing as like a half row or half column so we need to convert the type to uh, integers so not b dot in 32 and there we go so now we can assign this to our half rotated width um and our half rotated height and there we go. Okay, so now using our half rotated width and half rotated height, we can find out our full rotated width and full rotated height. Okay, WR comma HR is going to be equal to WR2, our half rotated width times two, and our half rotated height, HR2 times two, and shift enter. Okay, now very cool. So now um, we could just, now that we know the dimensions of our rotated image canvas, um, let's get a rotated image uh, all sorted out so let's call it imr maybe um and we could just uh <clears throat> and we can assign to it uh numpy dot let's just say like zeros for now um and it's going to have to be as a tuple and it's just going to be um wr comma hr okay now shift enter and let's plot it out so let's copy and paste this down it's going to be fig2 um, and this time we're gonna have two columns one for our unrotated image and one for our rotated image Copy and paste this down and this will go into second column and it, our image data is going to be an IMR shift enter and Okay, I actually got this in the wrong direction. Oops my bad and that's just because I got like uh, because it's actually gonna be a matrix Okay, there you go. So uh, very cool so notice that um, now we have our rotated image canvas, which will store our image if it's rotated 10 degrees counterclockwise. Okay, um, so now notice that, well, our entire uh, rotated image canvas is blank, and that's because we assigned zeros to it up here. Um, but what we're gonna do is for every single X and Y coordinate, well, for every single pixel, in our unrotated in our rotated image canvas we're going to rotate it back uh, 10 degrees clockwise and get the um, rgb value and assign it to that pixel and we're going to do that for every single pixel in our rotated image canvas and to do this we're going to do something which i did in a previous video so we're going to get the indices indices of a matrix of size um well it's going to be a size of hr comma wr and shift enter so what this gives us is that it returns to us the indices for a matrix of size hr and wr so we could assign this to um maybe yr and xr maybe and uh, notice that if we do this there are going to be two problems first off eventually we're going to stack up our yr and xr um in order to rotate it to get the um, rgb values of our unrotated image which we're going to assign to our rotated image canvas so that means that we need to actually flatten these so wire comma xr is equal to wire dot flatten comma xr dot flatten there we go and our second issue is that well we're trying to rotate it around like the center so that means that we need to find wire c and xrc so YRC comma XRC is going to be equal to YR minus um, HR2 and well our half rotated height and um, XR minus our half rotated width. Okay, and um, now that we did that, um, well we could just rotate our YRC and our rotated centered Y and X coordinates uh, 10 degrees clockwise. Uh, and get the RTB values then. Okay, so to do this, let's stack them up. So numpy dot row stack. Uh, it's going to have to be a tuple, and it's going to be I think um, XRC comma YRC. 
like so and uh, let's make sure that works okay and that looks good um and now uh we're gonna matrix multiply this by a rotation matrix um which will be our negative day because we are trying to rotate this 10 degrees clockwise this time and matrix multiply which is our at symbol shift enter okay and this looks good okay so now uh remember that eventually these are going to correspond to rows and columns so therefore uh we don't really care about uh what well, we can't we can't have these fraction values uh so that means that we need to set the type of all these numbers into integers okay so um dot as type numpy dot in 32 because there's no such thing as maybe like three fourths of a row or like one half of a column okay shift enter and there we go so now we can assign this to xc comma yc shift enter okay and now we can find out x and y um so x and y so that's just going to be xc plus well here we subtracted um our rotated half height and rotated half width so now we have to um add back our um our unrotated half width and for our yc we have to add back our half height okay now shift enter okay that was not what i wanted to shift enter there you go so now um notice that it's really tempting to do something like this so for every um row and column uh, for our uh, rotated image canvas, um, yr comma xr, uh, we set it equal to our unrotated image for every single uh, y and x uh, value, um, and this will basically uh, get us our RGB values and just assign it to our rotated image canvas for the corresponding uh, pixels, and shift enter. But you notice that we get an error. And the reason we get this error is because, well, like how I said earlier, when you rotate a rectangular image, well, it's go you're going to need a bigger canvas. Um, and also, there's some points in that, uh, in that uh, rotated image canvas that uh, aren't in our unrotated image canvas. So we only want to include um, the, the pixels for which um, are both in the unrotated image and a rotated image okay and um to do this we need to make sure that the deviation from the center of the image of xc and yc must be less than the half width and half height so not be the absolute value of xc must be less than the half width at all times and also the absolute value of yc must be less than the half height at all times and both of these have to be true so we're just going to do mp.logical and shift enter. Now it seems that all these values are false. Um, and the reason for this, well, <laughs> well, all these values seem to be false. But if we, if we assign this to a variable, let's say include and shift enter, and we look at the mean of include, so include dot mean, you notice that we get a, a value of around 0 0.75. And, uh, and true has a numerical value of 1, and false has a numerical value of 0. So therefore, that means around 75% of the values of include, well, 75% of the values in a rotated image canvas lie in our unrotated image canvas. And now you might ask, Charlie, how does this help us? Well, um, Python has a really cool thing called, well, not Python, but NumPy has this really cool thing called Boolean indexing. So, for example, if we go yr bracket include, now yr only, um, only, okay, brain fart. yr only gives, yr only shows the value for which, values for which include is true. So, you could do the same for xr, y, and x I, I just got that all mixed up but anyways so basically what this does is now it only returns the values for which um yr is include for which include is true okay for each of yr xr y and x now when you go shift enter you notice that um we get a we get um a shape mismatch and the reason for this is because up here uh i forgot that we actually need to show the amount of channels so three and that should fix it and there we go okay miss, miss typo I, I forgot to just write that down oops 
Okay, so um, now let's plot it out. Shift enter. And notice that me and my dad are rotated. The issue is that we're actually rotated 10 degrees clockwise. When we're actually be supposed to be rotated 10 degrees counterclockwise. And you see, the reason for this is because, uh, well, row 0 is all the way up here, and row hr minus 1 is down here. But in the y coordinates, um, but for the y coordinates, hr minus 1 is here, and 0 is here for the y coordinates. Um, so this is a slight issue, but if we subtract, uh, let's say, y r include from hr minus 1, then uh, when y r, well, when when it's at zero it'll be at um it'll be at yr minus one okay i'm just realizing that i'm not making much sense but when it is at yeah when it's at zero it'll be um at yr minus one up here and when it is at um hr minus one up here and when it's at uh hr minus one up down here it'll be zero okay so uh, we subtract yr from hr minus 1, like so. And we can also do the same for y. So h minus 1 minus y, shift enter, and shift enter. Um, and notice that it worked, but now we're overlapping. And the reason for this is because we actually need to restart and run all for a runtime. And give it a second. And there we go. So now me and my dad are rotated 10 degrees. Uh, counterclockwise very cool um, and yeah so this is how uh, you rotate um, images in Python if you're gonna do it the painful way but um, well we went through the nitty-gritty details um, in rotating an image using a rotation matrix in Python but in reality using uh, libraries such as OpenCV for example you could rotate images in just uh, four to five lines of code but since we went into the nitty gritty details, I think that I learned a lot much more. And I hope that you learned um, as much as I did making this video. Okay, thanks for watching and bye!